Hey, hey developers, today I thought I would show you guys a little bit about this cool app called DevHub. Basically, it's a tweet deck for GitHub. We'll do a quick tour of it and I'll show you how it works. Hey, and if you don't know, my name is Eric. I'm a software developer. I have uh, quite a few years of experience. I'm also the author of the Vue.js in action book, which you can find a link below in the description. But before we get too far, let's have a quick word from our sponsor. Let me tell you guys about this amazing team management tool, Monday.com. Now, Monday.com is perfect for any size team. Doesn't matter if you have two freelancers working together or thousands of collaborators across the globe. It's perfect for any of those scenarios. It's also great for development teams and non-development teams. So you can have your HR production. They can all use this tool to keep track of everything they need to do in their everyday work. It's very intuitive. You can connect people to processes. It's colorful and very beautiful. It's really simple, but not simplistic. So I would recommend you guys check out monday.com. Make sure you click on that link in the description below and you can get a 14 day free trial. Make sure you check out monday.com. All right, so DevHub just came out recently and it was actually in the front page of Hacker News today. So I thought I would go ahead and give it a whirl. I already went ahead and signed up for it. So First, let's take a look at it. So like I said in the introduction, it's a tweet deck for GitHub. It's available for Android, iOS, and the web. And you can actually just click on this link, which we'll do in a second, and it'll uh, bring it up. So if you guys are familiar with TweetDeck, it was like a kind of these different columns. It was a way to organize your tweets so that way you can have different ways of um, tweeting different people that you're interested in. You can look at all the app messages. You could follow different hashtags and trends and, and kind of organize your Twitter feed in a little bit more of a better way. And if anybody, if you are hardcore into GitHub, you'll probably notice that GitHub isn't the easiest to use at some time, especially if you're trying to track different repositories or if you're like an open source creator and you have a lot of things going on. Um, this actually helps simplify some of it. I am not, uh, I'll, I'll say I am not a hardcore GitHub user. Uh, I use it at my work. I use it for all my repositories, but I certainly uh, I haven't really open sourced a ton of stuff that gets a lot of contributions or creators going through it. Actually, I think a couple of my repos, I need to check some of my issues because I think a few are open. I haven't gotten to them. It's been a month or two, but you can see here, it has some cool features. So it has this columns layout. It has a way to kind of have like an inbox zero. You can look the items in these columns and you can clear them out. You can set up different filters, uh, notifications. You can rep watch re repositories. Um, you can actually even stalk people, which I'll show you guys in a second. They call it follow user activities without using the follow button. It's the activities that GitHub doesn't show in the feed, like issues, comments, and push commits. Dashboard spear. I see other users' home screen. Their GitHub dashboard so you can discover new interesting people, save for later, theme support. And they're going to do some more stuff in the future, like push notification. You can see that actually this whole, you can download this for free. I believe it's not, op it's, uh, the source code is free, but I'm not sure what license it has. So I'm not sure if you can use it and change it, but you can certainly download the source. So if you click on this link here, I went ahead and went ahead and already did that and it opens up this three column layout. I think you guys can see it. Um, I can make it a little bit bigger, I suppose. Uh, so the way it works here, is you have the notifications, and this is the normal notifications that you see uh, that if you like, if you ever watch or set that little bell button to any of any sort of um, repository or you have it on certain comments, it depends on your settings in GitHub, this will show up in this column here. And so this is kind of nice. You can see in this column here, this is where it shows up. Uh, then you can have a dashboard view and this is the same thing you would see if you're logged into github this kind of middle section it kind of shows you some of the if you uh have followed a bunch of people it'll, any of your followers will show up here it'll show you some of the activities that they have so you can see this third column here is you can actually follow people it defaults to following yourself so you can kind of see the activities you've been up to now what you can do here is you can click on this little button here and first thing you'll notice is you can have subscription reasons. So you can have different colors here. You can kind of turn off or on um, what you want to see here. So I can, let's say I wanted just to have, I don't know, just comments. I can unselect everything here. 
And now you can see the only ones, the only thing in here is just comments. Um, but obviously that doesn't help me too much. I can also just put them all back on the way they were. If I find an issue that I really like, I can click here and I can bookmark it. And then if I come in here, I can go to my bookmarks and I can look at my save for later stuff. I think I'm all, um, I think on top of that, I also have to check mark which type of one it was. So, so let's take a look here. So this one I have at the top, it's a comment. So if I come back here and I choose just in nothing but comments, you can see here's the one I bookmarked. But if I go back to inbox save for later, I kind of uncheck that and then I don't see it any longer. So you could see there, if you wanted to save certain ones in here, you can save it to take a look at later. And then you can also always click on it and it'll bring it up inside GitHub. As you can see here, as I click this button here, I can remove items because it's actually bookmarking them. And then if I want to see them later, I can click here to see them later. I can also take them off so they're no longer bookmarked. So that's kind of a handy feature there. Uh, we can also just remove. So if I want to remove a whole column here, I just click down here at the bottom and remove. I can also click this little arrow right here that clears everything. And I can unclear it if I want to. Um, so that's one way you can kind of move around. There's also a load more at the bottom of some of the columns, depending on how much you have. You can see here this load more here. But let's say we wanted to add a repository. This is what kind of cool. So let's say we want to add a user first. So we can click user here and then we put the username. So let's say we want to keep track of Dan Abramoff. So we're a big React fan. So I know his name is Garyon. And if I click OK there, you can see now here is his column here. So I can see what he's been up to lately. And actually, I'm not even following him. So that's kind of neat. If I can see the comments he's left. I have these little symbols here that kind of show me a little bit about he left a comment here. He had um, some other things happening here. So I could kind of give an idea of what he's been up to. And then once again, I can also check to see what, what activity. So if I want to see only, only the commits that he's done, I can uncheck everything else. And then, well, he doesn't have any commits recently, I guess. But if I load more, I bet if I load enough, I would find some commits that he's done. Or I can just see like what comments he's done. So maybe I can take a look at commented on PR review, comment on an issue. So I'll just do his comments. You see now I can just see his comments on this list here. So that's pretty neat. Uh, one thing uh, I could do also is add an organization. So I want to keep track of maybe Vue.js. Click, I type in Vue.js here. Now here's everything in the Vue.js organization. Once again, I have pretty good, um, a lot of filters I can add in here for forked repos, comments on PR reviews. I kind of get an idea of what's happening in here. Like someone started the repository, started repository. Obviously started might not be that helpful. So like if I didn't want to have that in there, I can take it off. Or if I don't, I don't care about who forked the repository, I can take that off too. So you can see here recently, we've had someone commented on a PR and commented an issue. Uh, we can also add in just a repository itself. So let's do, let's do Vue.js again and we'll do Vuex. So here's the Vuex. Once again, we'll probably get rid of these types. We don't care people about people who fork the repo or start it because there's a millions of people that do that all the time. So you can see this is pretty helpful and handy. Um, you can also click here and you can kind of change between the different repos that are, uh, you can go back to your notifications or your dashboard. I don't know if there's a way to scroll here. There might be. You can also just remove the ones you don't want anymore. I can just go down here, click remove. Uh, you can click down here and set some settings. If you don't like this dark setting, there's a light setting too. So you can do light blue, light gray, or light white. Um, on the dark settings, you get dark black, dark blue, and dark gray. And if we wanted to, we can also click this button here and we can set up GitHub Enterprise, but obviously we are not interested in that. So that's a quick view of the DevHub app. So I think it's pretty neat. I don't know if I'm gonna be using it a ton, but I can, I can imagine once uh, I start putting out more repositories here and I start tracking things, it might be handy to, to set this up. 
Let me know if you guys are interested in something like this. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear it, what you think about this Dev Hub app. And uh, it's absolutely free, by the way. It doesn't cost anything. Um, let me know. Thanks.